last night's baby needed some help. She's not happy about it, but. What are you saying? What did you say earlier? She wasn't staying still, so he was like, beat the crap out of your mom. It was great. I missed it, of course. But... He's a little bit cold, and he was born last night, and I wanted to make sure we actually get a good start, but we're getting there. It's super wobbly. Num, 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 num. Got the tail wag. Shivers. Shivers. Mom's pissed, but. Warm milk hey, your mom's bag is like right there. Tell her to stand still. Just a way to be to help. Getting it. Back out. Meeting friends again. Got a full belly. So now hopefully he can do it on his own. But as you can see, there's a lot of babies in here. It's a cute little hipper. Go hang out with your mom. Look at mom. She just, it's a little impatient sometimes, but lots of babies over there. The cows have started. It's been crazy. So we have mostly heifers in here. There's a couple cows. Like we pulled this baldy up front because she was getting picked on a little bit back in the pen she was in and she calved and our calf was just a little bit slow so we brought her up here so we could watch her a little closer um and then these are some of these are all og cows location marks um ak cows we got or we've had forever um we have one two of them that have calved now we had three calves last night and two yesterday morning so yesterday was our first big day of five babies and now it's been quiet so we'll see what happens tonight but there's only seven heifers left to go and way too many pounds, but they have started now. So it's fair game for everybody besides the last 40 cows that we bought. They're the end of this month. So soon enough, it'll be everybody. But yeah, things are getting fun. It's windy today, it's cold. There's more snow coming this week. Ask me how excited I am for that again, but you know. You basically get cow updates and how much I hate the weather updates. <laughs> Normally we're pretty nice in March-ish, like we'll get snowstorms but we're not cold cold and we get hit like 40, 50 degrees. We've not been above 40 yet, so. Ready for a thought, but lots of babies hanging out. Waiting for these girls to have. We're hauling manure today. I had to go chase a little cute little brown heifer around because she got out and was running around along the bunks. That was fun. Babies. Here we go, baby. Whole bunch of little children. The moon night. Larry's doing well. That's what I named her calf. Old Larry's. <laughs> but it's going, so keep rocking it. Oh. Got a little turd hanging out in here. This is their secret hideaway. They think it's awesome. They come and like hang out in there. They think it's great. It is, what day is it? Wednesday, I think. <laughs> I don't know what day it is actually. It's Wednesday, I don't know what the date is. But uh, we had five calves yesterday. There is a super fresh little thing over there. Uh, yeah, I think it's been crazy. Let's see if I can find our cute little ball. Yeah, he's over here, I'll show you. But <clears throat> Another busy day. Things are actually getting really crazy. So I might just do like a couple day vlog in a video just so we have three, four days at a time. Seems like a solid idea. You can see more calves in one video. I like that. <laughs> This is not your first rodeo. This is calf number three. You get him right back.
75. Good job. They all have big navels this year, but they're soft. They're soft. They're just soft. Fresh, fresh, fresh. Trying to get up already. I tagged that one this morning. That one that's walking up has a baby and I tagged hers this morning. We tagged this one this morning. This is the cutest little body. Hi, Tootsies. Buddy. This isn't even probably comfy. Should I get this out of here? There. That's gotta be better. How cute are you? It's bull calf. This is my husband's favorite heifer. So that's her baby. Looks like mom. That's a new one. She's a little nervous, so we'll keep her in here for a bit. Give her a chance. I know, you can have your calf. I'm not doing anything. I tagged another one this morning. Oh, that one. Ollie over there had an all black calf. Look how cute she is. She's still cute. Baby's flopping around. And I spy with my little eye. Somebody else. That's a blue tag. That's one of mine. That's gonna pop. That's the one that looks like she swallowed a boulder because she's just massive. What a little thing. Trying to get up already. Like a pro. Crushing the game. Crushing it. It's not yours. I know. Get out of my face. <laughs> that was fun. You guys got to see that. You're such a jerk. Your baby's way over there. That was fun. I ordered one of those little like GoPro vest things actually though. Pretty excited about that because now you guys can see live action when it comes. Tell Amazon to hurry up. <laughs> Maybe the next video we'll have it. You can see all the fun stuff. Because this morning, I had a cow trying to go under a gate at me. It was fun. <laughs> but babies, babies, babies everywhere. Baby going to come eventually. It's going to be crazy and there's snow coming tomorrow. So here comes the chaos. Your baby is over here. I don't know how you guys. Heifers, man. Heifers. Look at all them happy little babies. Doing well. Doing well. This is the one I helped nurse yesterday. Doing better. Doing well. And we got a whole bunch over there. Moon Knight's in the bunk. We got someone coming to say hello. You need something? I wonder if she's gonna have a baldy or not. I know, but. I'll probably come back another update in a little bit because we're gonna have another calf, I bet. This is what our cows do. They show no signs of calving and they drop a calf in like 10 minutes. Because this, I was just in here like 20 minutes ago. She was doing absolutely nothing. She was eating. And 20 minutes later, there's a calf on the ground. So they eat even when they're in labor and then they just go like plop a calf out. That's what they do. But that's correct. That's a water bag. Of all of this chaos of calving and stuff and all you know all the fun we also need to give our replacement heifer prospects for this next year their pre-breeding shot number one and then they'll get a second dose 
closer to breeding because the bull will be turned in with them the beginning of May. And it's <laughs> the middle of March. So that snuck up quick, but we're gonna do that quick. I got one more to start off once they're still in with a feedlot heifers. Um, run them through quick and then we'll have to come back and do it again. And then we'll start them off once we have a pen open. Yeah, then that's, I mean, it's just crazy how <laughs> that's happening already pretty soon. So without further ado, let's vaccinate some heifers. Really great angle. Um, so it's Friday, the 17th. Happy St. Patrick's Day. You're not gonna see this on St. Patrick's Day, but it's funny. Uh, that's our watery thing going. But um, no calves in the last like 24 hours, which is really weird because it like snowed and iced and crappy weather and things like that. So that was definitely really weird. We're gonna go to chores, see if there's anybody out here. I need my gloves. That was dark. Um, it's cold. Like our wind chills today are quite chilly in tonight. So wow, you can't see me. This is gonna be the best cloudy video you've seen in your life. <laughs> oh, bloopers for days. Um, we're gonna see if there's any calves. And it's just have really cold wind chills tonight. So I'm hoping that they just keep their legs crossed and hold them babies in. Hopefully you can hear me. It's windy. We found a cow that has a water bag and it's the one that hit mom last year. <laughs> it wasn't really a hit, it was more of just a push, a tap. push you over on the ground and walk away thing. She's an older snotty lady, so I'll show you her in about a second. I don't even see her. I don't even see her. Or is it 208? Oh, 208. Oh, is it 208? Is it that one right there? Right there. Oh yeah, it's 208, not 205. Just kidding, she can be a little bit of an ass for like a day and then she's not bad. There's a mucus there too. Yep. I'll say, I think 205's in this pen actually. Uh, right 418 too? It could be a busy night. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, the one thing is it's cold that their mucus is like freezing, so. Right. There's a baby over there from a couple days ago. She's a little bit of a jerk face, but otherwise not seeing much. But yeah, there's frozen mucus on her, if you can see that, because it's cold. Is 30 in this pen? Yes. yes. Okay. This is not This is not the safe pen to be in. We have a lot of witches <laughs> with a B <laughs> in this pen. Like she, she's a spicy little devil. There's more mucus. I almost fell asleep holding my phone. I don't see no, ba there's no babies in this pen yet, is there? there wasn't any this pen four, or pen three, actually. No baby. That looks like a fresh navel there. Somebody calved, I think. Yep. We got a baby. We'll go see who it is. Hold on. What up? Your baby's from yesterday, but we're not tagged yet. You gonna be nice? Yep. Bye. Sixty-two. What's up, little baby? It's a freshen. A little bit chilly, but not bad. Yeah, that's yours. She's still got a belly on her, and he has not nursed, so we can watch that one. Yeah, he's pretty fresh yet. Pretty dry. So. Okay, so we have one new baby. One that's on the way, and a whole bunch that look like they could go at some point. So, you know, I had a friend here. Now she's gone, and now they're all gonna calf because we haven't had a calf in like 24 hours. At some point, look, there's a big bag. At some point, things are gonna be wild. It's been great. Probably when it's cold as crap for the next couple days. But anyways, my phone is cold. I'm cold. That's your update for today. I'll probably see you later. All right, night checks. I don't think you know how cold it is outside. Uh, how high it's, it's like two degrees right now. There's a bunch of wind. So, you can hear everything's frozen again. It probably feels like negative. They forecast that the Rio feels like negative 20 to negative 25 tonight, so that's Fahrenheit, which is not the coldest we see, we wonder, but that's plenty cold for March. Like our normal highs in March this time of year. It's like 45, 50. Not hit that at all. Yeah. Night check, now what's going on? I'm staying at the farm tonight. 
Mom's in the barn. I'll be in the house if she needs me. Might as well get one of us to get a good night's sleep if there's nothing going on. Granted, she'll sleep too, but she'll wake up every couple hours and check humors and stuff. But anyways, I'm going to go sleep, even though it's only like, I mean, it's not like super late, but I'm going to go sleep. So see you if anything fun happens. If not, we'll see you tomorrow.